Welcome to the world of the ludicrously rich, where the size of one's mega yacht is the ultimate bragging right, the ultimate testament of one's wealth. Every billionaire who's been lucky enough to make it to the Forbes list seems to be part of this unspoken race, vying to own the most grandiose floating fortress. The rule of thumb here is simple. The more ridiculously opulent and gigantic, the better. Because nothing says, I have an obscene amount of money, quite like a 500-foot colossus of the seas. Now, these mega yachts, they are nothing less than a five-star resort, but at sea. A highly trained, professional crew of many spends their days polishing the gold-plated faucets and arranging organic, gluten-free fruit baskets. While you and I might break a sweat over the thought of owning a 79-foot yacht, these ultra-rich folks would simply scoff at it. To them, it's more or less a cute little rowboat. Stay tuned for the grand unveiling. Take a moment, catch your breath, and prepare yourself for the revelation of these maritime titans in all their absurd glory. Until then, hold on to your seats and keep your jealousy in check. After all, life's a sea, and we're all just trying to keep our boats afloat. Well, some boats are just a bit bigger and shinier than others. Now, let's get down to the meat and potatoes of our narrative. The creme de la creme of super yachts. Dubai. On our top five list, at number five we have the Dubai, priced at a measly $400 million. Built originally for the Bulkaya of Brunei, the project got derailed, and Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum of Dubai swooped in to claim it like the last slice of pizza. It was the largest yacht from 2006 to 2009, like being the tallest kid in kindergarten, but got replaced by bigger boys, Eclipse, and Azam. Still, Dubai is no slouch, boasting luxuries including a lobster tank, because what's a mega yacht without a spot to keep your dinner before you devour it? Manchester is second in our billionaire's playpen is A+, plus, belonging to the owner of Manchester City Football Club, Mansour bin Zayed Al Nayan, costing a paltry $527 million. A+, plus, is not just a yacht, it's a floating city boasting eight decks, double helipads, a fitness hall, and underwater lights because you never know when you'll want to illuminate the ocean floor for fun. As these billionaires saunter across the seven seas on their yachts, they enjoy the journey the same way they pronounce the word, yacht, with the sea being as silent as the discretion of their Swiss bank account managers. They customize their vessels with features as rare and unique as the tax evasion strategies they employ, ensuring that every square inch of their maritime domain is screaming luxury, louder than their billionaire neighbors. Next is Azom. Brace yourselves, folks, because we're about to embark on the Azom, a yacht so mind-bogglingly ostentatious, it'll have you questioning the bounds of sanity. Prepare to feast your eyes on a vessel the likes of which you're humble, middle-class retinas have never beheld before. Yes, get ready to be transported into an alternate universe where insanity meets luxury, all aboard the fabulous Azom. Stepping into the runner-up spot is the Eclipse, with a price tag so horrifying it makes Dracula himself flinch a cool $1.5 billion. This floating Taj Mahal belongs to none other than Russian-Israeli tycoon Roman Abramovich. When he's not busy playing real-life football manager with his soccer club, he's swanning about on his own private mega yacht. And get this, it comes with an anti-paparazzi system. Because when your wealth reaches these dizzying heights, the paparazzi are less. Pesky flies, and more. Bloodthirsty mosquitoes determined to turn every private moment into a paycheck. Now that's what I call keeping up with the Kardashians, billionaire style. Finally, we've got the undisputed champ, the history supreme. This yacht is like the Genghis Khan of the sea, the biggest and baddest of them all. It's a solid gold marvel costing a mind-boggling $4.8 billion, rumored to be owned by Malaysian billionaire Robert Kwok. This yacht is less of a ship and more of a floating museum boasting a wall made from meteoric stone and a sculpture made from real T-Rex bones, because nothing says billionaire like extinct dinosaurs. But hey, it's not all vanity and excess. Every mega yacht built employs thousands of workers, providing livelihoods for their families. So, the next time you roll your eyes at the ultra-rich and their luxurious lifestyles, 
remember that they are also unintentionally funding the lives of ordinary folks. We've covered the top five mega yachts in the world, which are less vessels and more floating symbols of economic disparity. Which one tickled your fancy? If you had a couple of billion lying around, would you invest in a golden yacht or perhaps something a bit more down to earth? Like a golden helicopter, maybe? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, if you enjoyed this financial roller coaster, give us a thumbs up. Until next time, keep dreaming big.